everyone knows, opens nationally in theaters on November 5th. So I just want a couple housekeeping things. Please, when you get the microphone, say your name and direct your question. Also, please, if you can say your outlet, we're going to keep all the questions to celebrate the movie. That's what we're here to talk about today. And I would be remiss, we have this beautiful cast here who did a beautiful movie, but I would be remiss if we did not point out someone who's not here today, and it is the poet where it all started, and Zaki Shandi cannot be here, but she is here in the spirit, so I want to be sure that she also is acknowledged. Okay, so let's start. <coughs> Hello everyone, congratulations on the remarkable film. Thank you. I uh, forward to Mr. Perry. This film is very much uh, balancing. Um, you have this candy store of amazing performances. I think somebody's calling somebody. Maximum Lent Record. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take this time to turn off all of our phones. Sleep. We have this. this amazing cast with these amazing performances and I wonder how you balance how much you're going to see Joe, how much you're going to see Kelly and also to that balancing act, how do you balance as a writer where Tyler Perry's words end and Mishonge's words begin? What, well, as far as the balancing goes, I just wrote the story. I, I wasn't thinking about characters or who would play what. I just wrote a story about eight women who don't know each other, whose lives are crossing and when I as soon as one person would cross in my mind, I would just begin to follow that story. And, and so it wasn't about how much time I would give for each, each character as much as it was about just how much of their story was being told at that moment. But I went back to Antisaki's work and I was uh, struck by a lot of it because it's so beautiful and, and the melody of it is so great. It's, it's, it's almost like music. So what I had to do was try and mimic it as much as I could in my dialogue to make sure that when these women w went into uh, one of her, her poems, it didn't seem as if it were a door slam or an axe had fallen and you went somewhere else. And what's so great about it is, I don't know if I, if I was, uh, if I'm explaining it the way that I, that I feel it in my mind, but what is so great about it is that these women are so amazing at it that they, it flowed like an iron just taking you right into it. They were really fantastic. Hi, uh, Carlos Greer from People Magazine. Uh, this message is for Janet. Uh, you've entered our world with this role. You're a magazine editor. Uh, who, who did you look to um, to get into character? Who inspired your role? That's pretty scary. <laughs> um, actually, I, 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 there were old films that I watched. It was very helpful to me. One in particular was Adam's Rib. Or the Audrey Hepburn, not Audrey Hepburn, but Catherine Hepburn. 